Christina Peek is here, coming to you once again, horrible lighting, the end of a kind of a rough day, but I wanted to share a fabric haul from G Street Fabrics. Uh, I hadn't gone there for a while, partly because I really didn't need too much, um, and also the last couple times I went, uh, it was seeming kind of empty, there wasn't a whole lot of stuff that, that was good for me. and. Um, but I had a, a confluence of things together. I had a chance to go. I'd want to um, uh, money in my PayPal account in a, in a contest that was, you know, specifically for fabric, and um, had a pattern test that required fabric that I didn't have. And I went, and it was great. There's a ton of stuff there. Um, I'll just post, uh, put here a video, uh, a quick video of what the 297 room looks like. Okay, so let's get down to it and let's see what I got. I don't know um, if anybody's watching this who watched another G Street one that I went to last year. Um, I remember I was so hot, I ended up buying all this rayon spandex. Well, um, it wasn't quite as warm today, uh, actually yesterday, but anyway, here we are. So the first thing is a um, rayon gauze, and I have it all folded, and it took me, I just washed it, and I put it in the dryer, and um, I'm not going to unfold it <laughs> to show you how thin it is and anything because folding um, five yards of 60-some inch wide fabric is, is quite, a, quite a hassle. But um, it is a lovely thin. It's super soft, super nice. You can see it's um, like other gauzes. It's crinkled up a little bit in the dryer. And, yeah, I just think a big flowy dress, probably be with a slip or something underneath it. Next thing, oh, so this is the 297 room, so everything was 297. Um, some of the things, if they had a bigger piece than what I needed, you know, they'll, they'll measure and they'll cut whatever you want, as long as you leave at least, I think, a yard that can go back in the room. Um, if there's less than a yard left, they want you to take it, so, you know, makes sense. Um, now, there are pieces that have, like, a messed up spot, like writing on it, because these are all, you know, samples and things like that. So, um, and there's pieces that are cut crooked. They, they only count the intact part. So, um, well, I'll give an example more later. But in any case, um, so the yardage that I say that I have of these is um, basically the intact yardage. Um, the second one is uh, navy blue and turquoise seersucker plaid it feels like it's probably 100 percent cotton there might be a little polyester in it i don't think so and um got five yards of that too it's nice um it's a shirting kind of fabric um it's i it's uh, it's wider it's it's about you know 55 or to 60 inches wide not wider but it's not the 45 anyway i got a rayon spandex knit it's like a beautiful orchid color and this is one where um, I think I got, I think I had charged for a yard and a half, but then there's another whole, uh, maybe like uh, two thirds of a yard that is um, half the width of the fabric. So, and that's going to my daughter. She's already claimed it. Although it's probably more than um, she needs. So I don't know, maybe, maybe we can get two things out of it. Um, so I went in there. <laughs> One time I was there, I got like a really a heavyweight linen, 100% um, linen. And I know it was that because sometimes they have a stapled on or sticker um, that actually has the details, like the company, the name, like what the sample is, stuff like that. And um, anyway, so this time I was in there and I found a uh, linen rayon blend, but it is a color that 
Well, you can't tell because I'm very pink right now, but it's, it's going to look naked on me. So, um, but, so I just got like a two yard piece and I'm going to, I'm going to try to dye it and, you know, dyeing from going from a tan instead of going from a white. And I'm just going to use like a cheap uh, Brit dye and then I'm going to make, um, an envelope dress, um, Chris Wood envelope dress. Okay. Next, um, you know, I, I gotten a lot of swim and athletic there and it's been quite good. Um, not Today I didn't see much. Maybe um, that's in the spring that that's there. But I did get this kind of charcoal. It's like a purpley gray um, nylon matte nylon spandex. It's pretty thick. Um, I just got a couple yards of that, so I can make some leggings, maybe um, power sports bra, something like that. Maybe there'll be another test coming up for something you know not um, foreseen. I don't. I'm not going to do that like right this second. I, I'm okay, but um, I want to have something around in case there's a new pattern that take advantage of. Then this is not going to maybe come, oh it is actually coming up nicely. This is a navy um, rayon chalet and I'm smiling because I actually pronounced it the right way and I got another like five yards of that. I think it's five yards. I had my computer here to check the details but I'm, I can add it in later. Then I got, and, that, and that's been washed. Um, I just went through and put in, I have, I have some serger thread that's like purple that I got for 37 cents per spool. So I put like three of that in there and I just like surge, 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 surge <laughs> the ends of all the things. And I've already, you know, done two loads of wash so far um, with these, plus all my kids stuff and everything. Anyway, um, a navy crinkle rayon. Now, I had bad luck with one of these because you cannot use this on the side because it will grow. But once again, I want to make like a flowy dress kind of thing. Um, I'm always drawn toward these um, kind of muted colors. They did have a lovely burgundy and like a lovely like rust orange kind of a couple things. And I left them for other people. Um, anyway. This is, you can see that this is my surging I just did. This is actually a tensile twill. And I don't know if you can see the sheen. I surged it, but I haven't washed it yet, so it might have some dust on it. But um, lovely tensile twill. It's less, and it's also um, uneven. So I think it's, um, I think I got charged for three yards of that. And, uh, but, but I think it's like more like four and a half on the long side, but then that doesn't go all the way across. Um, I, I'm pleased with how, how she did it. She was definitely, um, anything that, she resolved things in my favor, I, I feel. She, I feel like they're very fair there. Um, and then I got um, another, like a charcoal gray, also like kind of a purplish undertone, um, heavy uh, khaki um, twill. Um, and I'm going to make some more of the Dawn jeans hacked into Shino's kind of thing that I did um, earlier with another with more fabric from T-Street. And likewise, um, this is a sage green also. Oh, are you seeing the wrong side? No, that's the right side. Um, I don't know if you can see it. It's like a twill. Um, and they had two that were very similar colors. I think I liked the color of the other one better, but it was thicker like the charcoal. This was slightly thinner and slightly softer, and I thought it might be better for summer. Um, I, I do wear um, I do wear khakis to, to work a lot. I don't mostly wear dresses, but well, maybe I will start wearing some soon. And the next thing um, was just a target of opportunity. I feel like when I go in there, if I see, I have to be open-minded, kind of know how much I need for various patterns. Um, feel things, you know, and I, I take and I, you know, I, I just, I test um, what the stretch is going to be. I hold it up to the light. I hold it up. There's a mirror in there. I hold it up to the mirror. And um, yeah. And so I decide. So this is a target of opportunity. It is a kind of like, um, it is a light gray. It's not oatmeal. It doesn't really have a tan to it. French terry, but it's got a lot of stretch. It's like, um, I want to say it's like 50% stretch vertically and like 60 or 75 um, horizontally. 
um, which is a lot, I think. And so I think I got like three yards of that, two and a half or three yards of that. Um, a um, army green cotton lycra for me and probably my son too. Um, this periwinkle, and it's got like a slub knit. Now some slub knit things that I've run across like that um, are only two-way stretch, um, but this one is, this one's four-way stretch. And that'll just be, um, so the orchid I said my daughter um, claimed, this one I'll keep, and I'm thinking um, Terra Tunic, um, or um, the Edith from five out of four, um, you know, something like that, to wear with all these khakis I'm gonna be making, of course. Okay. Ah, so this next one may have been a bad idea. Who knows? Um, it is a black interlock and it's heavy, um, some stretch. And the plan with that is to make a Tessa sheath dress. And I'm not really necessarily comfortable with making um, sheath dresses, <laughs> um, but I'm gonna, I wanna give it a try. And this would be a good thing to try with. Okay, um, this is a stretch. So it's like a no stretch vertically, but it's 25% stretch horizontally. Um, denim, black denim. I would love to get some different color denims, but since most of my stuff, like I said, is, is you know, if they have it, it's just a luck of the draw. Um, you know, I don't know what this would cost. I mean, I, I'm assuming like at least 12 or so per yard if I got it out someplace. Anyway, um, it's about a yard and a half. And um, I don't know if I can get jeans out of a yard and a half for myself. Um, I'd like to try. Uh, anyway. If not, I'll just do shorts. Because <laughs> uh, my children don't wear jeans. Anyway, uh, this is an ITY and it's so pretty. They call it a mat knit there. They don't call it an ITY. This one actually has a sticker. And it says, um, well, I'll give you a look and you can see what some of the stickers look like. There are different versions of them. Oh, it might be reversed. Um, anyway, uh, so that is super soft. I figure that will be like a cowl neck blouse or, or maybe um, like a Sinclair Azalea. Um, and then, so I could wear it just with my khakis. Or I could, um, if, if I need to dress up, um, it would go under a suit as well. You know, navy um, or, or black or whatever, gray. Uh, this is a beautiful heavy chambray. And um, I think it's about three yards. And I would like to make some, um, if I ever figure out an elastic waist pants that works for me, I will, um, Maybe use that for it, but not there yet. Okay. Now, I got all excited because there was this beautiful um, purple Oxford cloth. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And um, so I took it up and I said, you know, I need three and a half yards because um, I was thinking the Tarawi. I can't say. I'm in a broad, like, button-down shirt or another button-down shirt. I have the Harrison, too. Um, and that that would be enough to cover either one of those. Probably with some leftover. It'd be fine. Well, she goes to open it up. It's this big, it's this big pile. And she goes to open it up because this one is actually folded. And it is individual. It is, like, maybe six or eight individual pieces but they're not like straight yards. They're all trapezoids. So I got um, two identical pieces that are 18 inches on one side and two yards on the other. And she charged me for a yard because they were only 18 inches intact each. But it's a lot more. I think. I think maybe I should have gotten three. <laughs> well, we'll see. I'm, I, I hope I can still make a shirt out of that. It's very nice and thick. Oh, and so the final thing, and um, you know, you just see a good bargain. Um, just like when I saw the linen, I had to buy it. And um, 
Actually, I haven't cut into that yet because it's so good, such a good deal. I just want to look at it. Um, but I will cut into this stuff. Anyway, the final thing is just wiki deal. Amazing. It is a 100% wool, houndstooth, nice and thick, you know, woven, lovely. I mean, it could be used for a coat. Um, I'm thinking I will... Actually, I plan to make like a heather blazer out of it, but um, I don't know. Maybe if a coat pattern comes along, I got four yards of it. It's nice and wide. Um, yeah, it's beauty. <laughs> anyway, so um, I think I'm going to make some Arthur pants. I'm going to make some flowy dresses. I've got some t-shirts. I've got some khakis and, you know, all that. Um, yeah, I had a great, I had, I had a lot of fun. There was a, a couple people in and out looking at things going, hmm, I don't know, hmm, it's not perfect. And then there was this other lady in me, and she and I just went to town. We went, like, systematically from one side to the other and down the middle. Each piece, like, looking at it, is this going to work? You know? And then, you know, and she was trying to offer advice to people who came in, and they were just like, well, I don't know, you know. <laughs> So, um, and then I was getting this cut, and obviously getting it cut took an hour, probably, um, getting it cut and measured. And uh, people kept coming up like, what are you going to do with that? I don't know. It's like, oh, I have plans. But my first thing is, now that I've washed some of it, is to put it away. <laughs> so, wish me luck on that. And I've already asked my children if I could borrow their stuffy ball and just hide it in the family room. And they're like, I don't know. <laughs> so um, wish me luck in storing it, and I will not see you for a fra fabric haul very soon, I hope. Enjoy it. Bye. We will come back to you. Only the store what is good. All oh, the world be great. Don't let the fear steal your peace, no. Don't let the fear steal your peace.